Hey guys, welcome to the latest video and in this one we're going to take a look at how to design a card with Tailwind CSS. Yes, I know we did that in the previous video too, but this is going to be different. In the previous one, we took a look at how to design maybe let's say a vertical card for a product, product basically. And in this one, we're going to take more of a horizontal approach and design it for a person. Let's say a profile that you might see on some social media or something. So let's roll the intro to get started. Okay, so to, uh, I just have the basic boilerplate over here, uh, the CDN link for Tailwind CSS and some base classes on the body. So now the next step would be to create the div for the card. And inside this, uh, I'm going to create two divs. One is for the image and the other one is for the text. So in the first div, let's straight ahead go and create an image tag. And I have the link for this image pasted in here. Uh, as a comment so that I don't have to go and grab this while recording the video it's from unsplash all right so let's give it a alt text of portrait and then class of h24 width 24 to size it correctly and as you can see right now uh, changing the size of the photo changes its aspect ratio so basically this is really distorted right now what we can say is object cover so that basically just means object fit cover and us uh, like somehow just makes it the right aspect ratio but some of some part of the image gets cut off cuts off because of that all right so now let's go ahead and add an h3 in the text section and we'll say uh john doe maybe cool and then let's add a paragraph which is just 10 words of lorem I'm not going to go ahead and write the description. Just going to use placeholder text. All right, so let's give this whole card a BG gray 200 and text gray 800. Right now, this is spanning the whole width. We can just simply add some PX on the body to change that. All right, and now as we can see, this is some somewhat vertical, right? What we can do is uh, just add flex to this, to the card container. We can add flex and that makes our text and image go side by side. All right, and now I don't want my image to be a uh, rectangle or something. I want it to be a circle. I can simply say uh, rounded full. And let's take a closer look. Even adding rounded full, this is converting the image into a cylinder or something sort of. So to fix that, this is because of basically how Flexbox is acting up. Let me show you without the flex class. Without the flex, uh, this is a proper circle. But as soon as we add flex to the card, basically, this gets squashed down. So what we can do is, on this image, we can add a class called flex shrink zero and this should do the trick basically surprisingly it doesn't let's see if we put this up on the parent div yeah it works now so basically flex shrink zero says that the section that we are applying this on can't be shrinked down like it was before so this just prevents it from uh, shrinking basically, as simple as that. And then to make this image go in the center vertically, we can say items center. Cool. Now uh, it's the time to design the text. We can say class on the text on the H3. I'm going to add a class of text LG. And on the description, I'm going to add a class of text SM. Maintains the visual hierarchy nicely. All right. And this on this whole text container, we can add a class of, let's say, margin left four. Yeah. 
and let's just bump down the padding it's interfering with our design yeah margin left four and on the whole card container we can let's say add a padding of four I was too zoomed in that's why the card was taking in a lot of space now on the heading I think font bold would look really nice yeah. and on the description we can go for a lighter color let's say text gray 600 and that fades that out a bit I think 700 would be the more accurate choice Alright, our card is more or less designed but to add a little more stylistic element what you can do is for the heading you can maybe choose some accent color or something really dark like text purple 700 or 800 you could even go with teal or blue so let's just try out teal yeah teal looks decent too but for just for the sake of it I'm going to leave in purple and then just give this whole card rounded corners that's not good enough rounded LG yeah and in my opinion that card looks pretty decent and that's it for this video if you like this one definitely leave a like and just whatever feedback you have let me know in the comments the code will be in the description so yeah you guys can go ahead and check it out thank you